All right, so we're going to look at a new preview demo that NVIDIA has popped out, something that they are calling Consistory. So I'm assuming that is the uh, blending of the word consist or consistency and the word story. Okay, and the idea here is that you can generate consistent characters across a series of images without requiring additional training. Now, what I believe that, that means is just kind of like with our Flux stuff, um, you know, you're seeing more and more people training these models with their own faces, their own pictures. And uh, I think what they're going to be doing here is they're working on a software where you can just be able to upload a photo of a person and get that person with the exact same stuff across um, a series of images, which, of course, has massive marketing implication. It is really cool. But you're going to see here, we're going to go, they give us a little online demo to use. So <laughs> this <laughs> Sandwich doesn't make a lot of sense. It's using an old stable diffusion model, but um, notice the face looks the same. Uh, dress isn't exactly the same here, but yeah, well, yeah, you could say it's the same person. Okay, over here we've got a um, little kid here in an orange outfit. So that you can notice actually this actually stayed really consistent. And then from there we're able to generate another image. Okay, uh, they do give us all a... Um, ability to run this in Python. You do need an API key. We're going to walk through that, how to do that. Um, but I did go over here on the Patreon site for members. If you don't want to deal with all the stuff, but you kind of want to play around with the code and whatnot, you can just go ahead and install that. Um, I just have a little installer that I built that created this app here, and you will be able to run this off of your own computer and playing around with getting consistent uh, images. This is a really neat one here. I kind of like that too. Same person. So again, um, they have the app. We're going to go over the app here online that they've given us and we're going to be able to go over here and just download this for members and be able to run that. But before we do that, let's uh, please share and like the channel like the video share the channel that kind of thing um if you see your neighbor walking by or the mailman's passed by the house chase him down go hey 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 stop wait 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 and then get up there and be like have you heard about get going fast and the ai stuff i'm certain they're going to appreciate that so uh thank you so much for your support i really do appreciate it all right well we're going to move on with the moving on here and get into the business so let's do it yo All right, so to get going with this, we're going to click on over to our browser, and all we need to do is we need to do a search for NVIDIA Consistory. <laughs> if I could spell it. Okay, so it's going to bring up this one here, and we're just going to go ahead and click that. Now, it's going to bring up this page here at the front, so you can read about it if you want. Watch the, uh, you know, watch the, the video where it kind of explains how it's working this is actually pretty cool because it's um you know when you see this it kind of gives you ideas of what they're doing so you're probably going to see lots of comfy flow stuff coming out about this but anyway any rate we want to just go ahead and click on the demo like that okay so she's going to bring us up to here and um here you go it generates consistent characters across a series of images without requiring additional training Okay, so I'm assuming that eventually they're going to get this to a place where you can just put your own images in there and um, train your models on that, which is really, um, would be really cool. Because uh, right now, you know, people are training their flux models and this and that, but it's kind of a big ordeal. I'm betting they're getting down to some big project. So, um, real easy to start with. I'm going to click over to some stuff I already did over here. Um, and you can see it. It has a style here where you can choose your different styles, but it's it's got it locked in, what it wants you to do. Now, I played with this with the API, uh, with the code stuff over here, um, the one that you're going to be able to download uh, if you want to just play with it there. And I tried putting in different styles that were not locked in. It doesn't work um, properly. Okay, it kind of does, but not properly. So I just stick with what they've got going there. So anyway, going back here, you can see you can pick your style. So hyper-realistic digital painting, okay? Uh, you've got a photo of 3D animation, watercolor illustration, neopunk style, and old illustration. So we'll look at several examples from different ones of these. Um, so <laughs> I, I watched Harry Potter uh, 
here earlier today, so I'm all like in Harry Potter mode. So I put Helena Ravenclaw wearing the Ravenclaw diadem. It didn't really turn out well, but, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, so then it wants you to put in subject words. So you basically are taking stuff from your subject subject description and putting them here. Notice if I put an extra space in here, it's going to mess it up. So this is not programmed to... Um, to avoid little things like that you got to make sure it's perfect also if you don't put a word if if it's missing a word that's not up here in the subject it will point it out so if i just said dress bird you know whatever it's not going to do it it wants to have at least one of the words okay and like i said an extra space will ruin it so you got to make sure it doesn't then you can have it whatever you want walking in the first one it says anchor scene prompt one so that's going to be picture one and this is just to show that the image can stay consistent so walking in the garden prompt two standing atop of hogwarts okay um and then it has some advanced parameters so you you can put your negative stuff in there um and then you know you can play around with your cfg scale and all this stuff okay so you can see it made it over here. It didn't quite get what I wanted. Um, I heard this is based on Stable Diffusion 1 or maybe you know, something like that, one of the older ones. Um, so it's not going to be the best. But uh, uh, <laughs> kind of put a bird on her head there. She's wearing a bird over here. But you can see it's basically the same. She's kind of got the same uh, color stuff going on, the same basic robes. You could call that the same person. All right, let's switch on over here. Um, okay, so same thing we've got over here a young boy with a bright orange afro um, standing by the eiffel tower standing by the statue of liberty and this is a style of a photo so you can see again it's not the greatest here i don't think the statue of liberty looks quite uh like that or may i don't know maybe you can get at a building that close i don't think so but the idea is basically the kid looks the same okay uh notice you got the white strip down here white strip there got the same shoes same pants so this demo doesn't promise to create the same backgrounds but it does um, suggest that it's going to create the same person so now I'm going to switch on over to the app that I created um, same thing here uh, notice here this one I used the neopunk style an old woman wearing a dress this is I think the default uh, and I just went ahead to see what it did. This is really cool looking. I really like this. You can notice, yeah, that looks like the same person. Again, I'm assuming that in the future, you're going to be able to put um, actual real people in there, and it's going to train it on that. So we're actually kind of going to the future. Here's another one I did, a watercolor illustration. That's really nice. Look at she's wearing the same things. Maybe that's a little bit taller than that, but, you know, whatever. Uh it all basically looks the same and then we can go over and I guess I didn't have another one but you can keep making these all right so that is really kind of groovy how that works there for that um, now they give you free tokens this is not a forever sort of a thing okay this is um, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this this is a thing where they're going to give you so much that you can play with okay so you can come in here not logged in and you can use it for a while and i'm assuming it'll probably check your cookies and then kick you out um, but you can play with it here for a while now what i went ahead and did is i used the python code so we went ahead you can you put this straight into a file and uh, just run it as a one shot you would have to go in there and change the code each time that you wanted to change it which is why again i threw it into here and i created an app that uh actually saves your api key it'll actually put it on your folder in there and load it up every time you load this thing uh but that's how you would use the api here just straight out of this but notice you got to do a few things you have to have an api key which gets thrown into i believe um Oh, where is that? I guess it's going to be up in here is where that API is going to go. So anyway, you got to get the API key, but before you do that, you've got to create an account. Okay. So all you got to do is um, click on the over here. It'll ask you how to sign up for everything. Um, again, if you have a personal email address, it's going to give you 1000 uh, credits. Okay. So that's like if you have your Gmail, 
sort of thing, right? Just another thousand credits. I'm not certain how much you can build with that, but I'm assuming a few, okay? Uh, if you have a business account, so like my business is CogniBuild. I have an account at CogniBuild, right? So you get 5,000. So if you own your own domain, use that, man, get the extra free stuff. So you just sign in, get an NVIDIA account. It'll come to your email address. You just, just like signing up for anything else, okay? You just say, yeah, that was me, okay? Same thing with Get API. It's going to ask you a few questions. Um, not that difficult to do okay when you do finally get through you're going to click get api and you're going to ask it to generate a key and it's going to generate a new key so when you copy that you'll just copy it paste it into a notepad uh, so that you don't lose it okay because one thing about apis is they never regenerate them for you they won't show you them because it's a security issue you get an api you don't want like if i showed an api in here i would delete it because i don't want a million people using the API. So uh, the websites, they give it to you one time. So copy it. Again, if you go over to the Patreon site and you get this um, this little one here, you can just paste it right into here, click it, save it, and it's going to save it to your folder. Okay. So, um, and then you can sit here and play with this until you're out of, uh, until you're out of tokens. Okay. And then I suppose if you want to do it again, go um, sign up with another account you know if you have another email account um, and then get an API and just throw it back in uh, there as well for your second one so now I'm going to just show you really quickly we've gone through the website it's it's pretty easy it's it seems to be fairly consistent <laughs> I'm trying to find seem to be fairly consistent with how it's working real basic okay let's see what happens actually if we click next steps Provide a scenario, click generate, see the image. Okay, so let's go ahead and click that. Okay, yeah, so that just is showing you what you had. Um, and so when you click generate a scenario, it actually just, um, uh, it just creates those images. Okay, and you'll see actually what happened was I went ahead and um, typed in a new scenario description there and it keeps the seed is what it does and then it uses the same thing it generated and it created the kid now in a new way so i did the same thing over here the gradio app you'll notice down here um, you can set your seed if you set this to zero it, it will be random so i went ahead did a new thing there and then it creates grandma over there doing something different okay so, uh, so very cool. I'm going to show you now how to actually, if you want to play with it on the computer, um, you just got to go over here to the Patreon that says at patreon.com, uh, so patreon.com, cogni build. Okay. And you're going to see it's over here. This is really for members sort of thing. So if you want to join as a member it's like five bucks to join otherwise you can use the free account but for members you can just get going fast here um all you gotta do is download this thing you just click it it downloads and then you go over here to your file explorer now let's go ahead and uh, i'll just put it into here all you got to do is right click on this and extract it okay real simple and then you just double click this install I think let me see if I can find that for you really quickly so you can see it okay and it just goes ahead and it runs through the install the longest thing about this is just to install the Gradio uh, app so that's what makes it show up in your browser and then um, when you're done all you got to do is just click run okay and you click run and then you pops you back up to your um, Gradio app. So again, if you don't have an app, you can just click. If you don't have the API yet, you can just click there to get your API paste in here and save it. And what you will discover is that, let's go back over to here. You'll discover that it saved it into a config.json. So that will load up every time. Uh, when you run stuff, it'll create an output and then you've got all of your different images here in your output.
That one's probably the least like them, but that one still at least looks like that lady there. So anyway, you can play around with this. Um, again, for members, just get going fast and get it done. Get going. The main things you got to keep in mind is you have to have an NVIDIA account. You should already have one anyways if you've installed your uh, CUDA. Uh, to uh, you know your CUDA drivers, you probably have an NVIDIA um, account anyway, so you can just use that. Yo, know, you get your API key and then uh, plug her in, and you have something to play with now for the rest of the day, okay, or the next couple of days. So let me see what kind of stuff you're working on. I'd love to see it. I am excited about the future of this because this literally is, uh, you know, um, how this is going to go. I mean, even, gosh, going back over to this picture that I made here for the thing, this is the future, man, is going to be uh, – production line robots and they're going to have to have a way to get the same consistent faces going across and this is the beginning of that technology guys and we're playing with it here and it's so cool and such like i don't know it's really kind of a head trip to be a part of what's going on and so uh you guys are a part of that too so go out there play with the demo and let me know how it goes for you. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm around on the Discord. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me over on Reddit. You can find me pretty much anywhere you want to find me. So you guys hang in there. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as usual, you be good. And yo.